Hey, what's up? This is Tiago Titan. Welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. This is the Champion Guide of Morrigan, the Fusion Champion from the Undead Hordes. She's a specialist of turn meter manipulation with an amazing base speed of 112. It's really high. And A1 attacks one enemy as 50% chance, 70 when booked, of placing a 30% decreased speed debuffs for two turns. Uh, it's okay, uh, it's a A1, so 70% chance it's okay. It would be better if, if it was an AOE, but okay. Her A2 has 75% chance, 100 when book, of stealing all buffs from a target enemy. This is really good. Also has 75% chance, 100 when booked, of placing a true fear debuff on all enemies for one turn. Will place a 50% decrease accuracy debuff for two turns instead if the target is a boss. So this is a nice skill. Stealing buffs from a target enemy and a chance to place AOE true fear or decrease accuracy if it's a boss. So it's good because bosses are immune to true fear debuffs, so they have this uh, decrease accuracy for them. And it's good because decrease accuracy can be very useful because bosses will have trouble to place debuffs on our champions. And uh, it's, a it's a 4 turn cooldown, when booked it's a 3 turn cooldown, it's really good. And here uh, 8 3 has 75% chance, 100 when booked, of decreasing the turn meters of all enemies by 20%, fills the turn meters of all allies by 20% and places a 30% increased speed buff on all allies for 2 turns. This is her best skill. Turn meter manipulation, increased speed for the allies, uh, turn meter increase by 20%, enemies turn meter decrease by 20%, an amazing skill mostly for the arenas. And her passive, at the start of each turn places a 100% deal reduction debuff for 2 turns on the enemy with the lowest HP. This debuff cannot be removed, transferred, spread or have its duration increased or decreased by enemies or allies. It can be useful when facing enemies that can heal themselves or uh, they can be healed by allies so this heal reduction that cannot be removed can be very useful uh, in many situations and we have uh, increased speed uh, aura in all battles by 19% it's not high but uh, it's okay so Morrigan is a turn meter manipulation specialist because of her A3 skill but she's more than that, she, here she can be, with her true fear diva, she can be a quite good, I can say, quite good crowd controller. Uh, here decrease speed, it's okay, it was better if it was AOE, but okay, it, it's good too. And her passive uh, is nice too, so she can be used pretty much everywhere in the game, mostly in the arenas, but also in Doom Tower. Uh, some bosses that can heal themselves, she can be uh, used there and faction wars. But now I will show you some battles and how to use Morrigan and uh, later I'll show you uh, how to equip her and masteries and her priority stats and all of that stuff. Okay, we are in the classic arena. Our champion was slower, but it's okay, we can cut them. So, uh, I have Arbiter and Morrigan as uh, turn meter increased champions. Uh, we can use only one of them. Uh, this is a champion guide of Morrigan, so we could use uh, Morrigan alone to increase turn meter, but you can use two of them. And when you do that, Morrigan doesn't need to be that fast because there's another champion if the other champion is faster. But let's start the battle. So, here uh, we can do, we can decrease the enemy's turn meter. And when we use two turn meter manipulation champions like Arbiter and Morrigan, uh, our other two champions can be slower, so they can be easier to equip. Uh, here we have a uh, Skull Crown, so she, if with one turn meter champion uh, Arbiter, she, she needs to be a little faster, to, so she, she doesn't get cut by the other enemies. But using two of them, she can be slower, so she can be equipped with more attack or more crit damage. But let's start with here, turn meter decrease and turn meter increase. And now we're doing this. Okay, so we have here Skull Crown with an unkillable buff. But another thing, ah, here the 
the heal reduction debuff. It's placed every time she gets a turn. But now we are trying to steal this buff and place the true fear. Okay, buff was still, now Morrigan has this unkillable buff and most important we can kill now this champion with an uh, unkillable buff. So this can be very useful against champions that place is unkillable or if they are equipped with swift parry. Now I'm using Morrigan as leader and being the only champion here who, with tournament manipulation. You can see I didn't say uh, in the other battle. Uh, when the battle starts and she has her first turn, if all enemies still have 100% HP, uh, the, this debuff, this uh, heal reduction debuff will be placed on the leader of the team, uh, the enemy team. So here it's on Ellicott. We'll start to uh, decrease turn meter and increase the, uh, our champion's turn meter. And that's here one champion I wanted to show you, Vogov, he's a healing beast. So we'll leave him for last because uh, later you'll see he won't be able to heal himself because of this heal reduction debuff will be placed on him. Uh, let's start. We will attack Seal of the Drakes. Okay, she's dead. Now kill Helicat. Nice. And here, she got the new turn and she placed the debuff, heal reduction debuff here on Tatura because they're both still with uh, a, a full HP. So now we can place this. There's nothing, there's no buffs to steal, but we can place the True Fear. True Fear, nice. And Tatura lost his turn. Oh, okay, I didn't expect this, <laughs> but it's okay, it's no problem, let's attack Tatura, so he's dead. So next, here, you can see, heal reduction, it's placed. Oh, okay, this was so fast, <laughs> Oboro, she, she attacked because she was provoked. But you can see, uh, it's her passive, Morrigan's passive can be very uh, useful here when you have uh, tanks that can heal uh, and her debuff, heal reduction debuff can be very useful there because it cannot be removed. Now the Don't Tower Heart, uh, Morrigan can be amazing here because of her, not only because of her turn meter man manipulation, but because of her A2, the true fear, AoE, true fear debuffs, so the enemies can miss their turns, they can have their the skill they are trying to use will be uh, placed on cooldown if they have if they miss the turn when having a true fear debuff and that can be very helpful here to go up all these stages all these floors and she she is amazing and her aura she, her aura is for all battles so she can be a leader here too and this heal reduction debuff uh, is good too because there's always champions try, trying to heal and this will prevent uh, that they can be healed and uh, it's, it's really useful too. So this you can see the same she's doing here, she can do infection wars, uh, she can do in, uh, I would say in dungeons, but not for speed farming, it's mostly for uh, uh, progression, you can use her for progression in dungeons, uh, potion keeps, uh, of course there are dungeons too. Uh, some bosses, uh, bosses that can heal themselves can be used there too because of her passive, so they, they won't be able to heal. What, what else uh, she can be used to? Hydra. Hydra can be good too, she has her A1 that decreases speed, she can increase uh, ally speed and increase ally uh, turn meters and in her A2 she will not place the true fear debuffs because it's a boss. She will place the decrease accuracy debuffs and it's good because uh, it will help our champions. Uh, so the enemy will be will have trouble to place debuffs on our champions and that's always good to use. So, uh, Morrigan is useful uh, whether you are in early game, mid game, late game, end game. He can always be a nice champion and fan champion to use. Maybe you don't have place for her in classic arena, but I'm sure you will have place for her 
in the tag team arena because you need a lot of champions there and she is she has nice skills she's not many uh, are comparing her with uh, Lissandra she can be like Lissandra but she has her true fear debuffs and her steel buff uh, skill her A2 can make her a, a different champion she can have a different role in the team not only being a turn meter manipulation but also a crowd controller and that's what makes her so good so I have my Morrigan equipped with two speed sets and one perception set uh, she has nice HP and also defense, but the most important here is speed and accuracy. Uh, 325 speed, 521 accuracy, that's what she really needs. That's are her priority stats. Of course, she can be slower if you're planning to use her with another uh, turn meter increased champion like Arbiter. She can be slower, a little slower, and you can give her more accuracy if you can. And these are the masteries I gave her, thinking mostly on the arena. So the, the recommended artifacts for Morrigan are speed, perception, accuracy. You can give her immunity to reflex uh, and relentless. And her uh, recommended primary stats are uh, 40 gloves, are HP percentage or defense percentage for the chest plate accuracy or hp percentage speed for the boots hp or defense for the ring and the amulet and accuracy for the banner now books we have four here plus three plus three so ten books and she deserves these books because here she will have 100 percent chance of decreasing the turn meters and the cooldown goes from five turns to four turns it, it should be three turns, but okay. And here too, uh, the 75% chance will be a 100% chance, and the four turns will be three turns. Mostly this, uh, her A3 and her A2. Her A1, she will have more 20% chance of decreasing, uh, placing this decreasing speed debuff. It's good too, but the most important are her A2 and her A3. So Morrigan can be a very uh, useful champion for early mid game, late game, end game, uh, she can be very useful for early mid game for dungeons, for progression, she can help to against some bosses, for late end game she's more a Hydra, she can be used on Hydra, uh, Faction Wars uh, from early to late game in Faction Wars of course, she's good not only against the waves but also against the bosses, and in the arenas, classic arena and tag team arena, uh, in my opinion, it's the place where she's better. So that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about this champion. Subscribe my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.